Hi, I'm Austin Lehman, and I lead the Backstage team at Spotify. And I'm Meg Watson. I lead product for Backstage. We're very excited to share the Spotify plugins for Backstage Bundle subscription available today. Before we dive in, I want to come back to this concept that Tyson shared on Spotify's formula for developer effectiveness and build on it a little bit. Our hypothesis is that Spotify's business, and really any business, hinges on helping developers contribute effectively. If your developers are lost, unproductive, or unhappy, then you're not keeping pace, let alone innovating. In fact, you might be struggling to recruit and hire quickly, struggling to retain talent, or struggling to understand the health of the technology powering your company. First, let's start with familiar territory, the endless pursuit of productivity. Everyone is talking about productivity. The work of improving productivity is never done. It's an always-on activity, and it matters across all levels of decision makers and contexts. Because every ounce of productivity is a dollar saved and a happier teammate. Productivity is the rate of output per unit of input. In the simplest sense, for developers, this means they need to do less work to build better products. At Spotify, our developer experience teams are obsessed with figuring out how to get developers to do less in order to get a given job done. And we do that in a few ways. First, we invest deeply in research to ensure our decisions at all levels are based on a real understanding of the challenges our developers are experiencing. We've taken the patterns used to study, understand, and connect with our consumer fans and applied those to developers, treating them as customers. And it doesn't stop there. Design is central to experience. We embed designers across our squads to ensure we build beautiful, intuitive tools that people want to use. Lastly, we do a lot of internal marketing and evangelization, like a lot. This is crucial because we typically don't mandate adoption, but instead try to incentivize by promoting the best supported, clearest, and easiest way of doing something. But that's the easy part. What's this happiness stuff about? We believe that measures of effectiveness need to take into account much more of what impacts the thing at the center of the developer experience, the person. Because at the end of the day, building and shipping code is a human-intensive process. So happiness might feel like a fluffy metric, but in the time we've been focusing on it at Spotify, we've come to find that we get good signals on effectiveness by examining the answer to more squishy, human-like questions. Do people feel empowered to do their best work? Is there energy being applied in healthy ways to both their own goals and the company's goals? Is it easy to innovate, experiment, and try new things? So we've been on a multi-year journey to optimize this particular formula for success, and we've learned quite a bit along the way. It's an approach that we deeply believe in because it has helped us address tough challenges like employee morale, stress and burnout, and other factors that can contribute to poor quality and high turnover in the long term. And what we've seen time and again is that Backstage is serving as that same kind of change catalyst for our adopters within the open source community, which is why we're doubling down our, on our commitment by sharing some of the best things we've built so far in a commercial offering. Our goal has always been pretty simple. We want to make Backstage the standard by unlocking developer effectiveness for organizations of every size, scale, and industry. We believe our insights and tools are transferable and can be equally valuable to you. That's why Backstage is an open source platform and why Spotify is continuing to support the community and contribute to the project. Last year, when we first shared our intent to commercialize products, for Backstage, we talked about how we've only just begun tapping into the potential of Backstage and sharing all that it has done for us at Spotify. Today, we're diving deeper on the next step on that journey with the release of Spotify plugins for Backstage, a paid subscription available to all Backstage adopters. We're launching with a set of five plugins that address different aspects of developer experience and engineering culture. We developed this bundle with feedback from a core group of customers. Now that the tires have been kicked, we're ready to open up the beta testing to our broader community. The bundle subscription includes two kinds of plugins, external versions of some of the most popular homegrown plugins we've relied on for years at Spotify, and new plugins specifically created to unlock more value for companies using Backstage. These plugins leverage key features of the Backstage platform. Its role is a central hub for all of your engineering teams where they do their everyday work. 
Its role is a two-sided platform that creates data-driven feedback loops between your platform teams and your feature teams to continuously strengthen and improve your internal developer community. And the streamlined UX that reduces complexity and makes it so easy to use. Although the plugins have diverse functionality, the cohesive interface of Backstage makes them feel familiar and easy to adopt. The plugins included in the bundle are aimed at enhancing Backstage usability, driving adoption, solving ownership, driving best practices, improving visibility and decision making, and facilitating collaboration. We've used internal versions of these plugins for years, with hundreds or even thousands of Spotifyers using them daily. And we've leveraged this feedback to improve the experience through ongoing iteration. In other words, they're battle tested here at Spotify before your teams get to them. We think they're ready for the outside world. Soundcheck helps you ensure that all of your software is built to the engineering standards that you expect at your organization, while making it easy for all of your engineers to know about and follow those standards. Skill Exchange is a great way to expand the abilities of your entire R&D community by ensuring that your developers are always learning, always motivated, and always collaborating on something fun, exciting, and critical to your business. And Pulse lets you keep track of it all, helping you understand and measure the feelings and experiences of your team and capitalizing on ways to improve the health of your organization over the long term. It'll tell you if your developers really are happy, which is where we started today. In other cases, we listened to the community on enterprise features they needed to make Backstage more powerful and easier to adopt. Role-based access control is an out-of-the-box solution to control access and data within your Backstage instance. And Insights helps you measure usage of Backstage within your organization so you can have visibility into how adoption is really working. There's no one way to improve developer effectiveness. Each of these plugins does its part, and we use all of these plugins collectively in that effort. As such, we're packaging these plugins as a bundle, providing everything we think and hear that you need to successfully improve the productivity and happiness of your developers. As you might have guessed, we love a freemium model at Spotify. These plugins are designed to complement the open source platform and, and plugins you already enjoy, bringing even more of Spotify's experience and maturity with Backstage to the overall platform. We firmly believe these plugins, combined with the innovation that we've seen across hundreds of adopting companies, will help you take your developers to the next level. We've talked a lot about the backstage plugin architecture and what makes it so valuable in an open source context. Plugins are really any functionality that makes your backstage app more useful. They can be bespoke to an organization or open source and their benefits shared by many. At Spotify, the inner source plugin contribution and ownership model that Backstage fosters helps us achieve our developer experience goals in a Spotify way. Instead of working against our culture, we work with it by creating a marketplace of now over 200 internal Backstage plugins where developers contribute solutions addressing common problems they have and others can adopt them too. The same model applies for the Spotify plugin subscription. We've built these plugins so that you don't have to in an effort to replicate that virtuous cycle. This initial bundle and everything to come in the future is the very best of what our team at Spotify envision, build, and iterate on every day. We want you and your teams to move faster and for Backstage to be stickier and more impactful within your organization by drawing on our experience so you don't have to replicate work that we've already done. As Austin mentioned, our investment with Backstage is following suit with our consumer offerings. In this case, the subscription is meant to enhance what's already available in open source. The overarching question we asked when developing these plugins was, will this make Backstage more powerful and useful for open source adopters? And that's the question we'll continue to ask as we evolve the subscription. We hope that by adding paid plugins from Spotify to the other commercial services surrounding Backstage, that the platform becomes more valuable to current adopters, that will broaden its reach to new adopters, and that will also create a more diverse ecosystem for the community at large. The bundle subscription is also how we see Spotify continuing to sustain its investment in Backstage. Revenue generated from the bundle can be reinvested into developing and releasing more plugins, and including more of the plugins we use internally, and evolving Backstage further. If you look across the open source ecosystem, the largest, healthiest, and most impactful projects are all enhanced by commercial offerings. 
these offerings demonstrate long-term commitment. And in this case, they demonstrate Spotify's enduring commitment to Backstage. We see this as a good thing for our community, for our teams, and our customers. We are structuring pricing as an annual subscription with customers gaining access to all five plugins offered in the bundle. Alongside the plugins themselves, customers can also expect ongoing technical support and help getting the paid plugins up and running when they buy the bundle. In our alpha and closed beta testing, we learned that pricing flexibility based on individual parameters like backstage usage and capacity within an organization is what works best for our customers. In this open beta period, we're committed to building relationships with our customers and demonstrating that commitment by building ongoing value with the subscription. And now, we'd like to introduce you to some of the builders of each of these plugins. They'll share how these plugins have helped developers at Spotify and how they can help your developers too.